How's it going guys? Hunter here from Outdoor Grinds and today we're going to be talking about trail cameras. Something that's really taken off in the last couple of years. There's a ton of new technology out there. I'm going to talk about some of our experiences with trail cameras as well as what our favorite trail cameras are currently. So we have used a ton of different trail cameras from all different companies in our time and we still have more that we want to try out but we have used a bunch of different cameras. So I remember probably 10, 12 years ago, we got our first trail cameras. We got some wild game innovations. They were really big and bulky cameras. And I remember I was always so excited every single card pull. I wanted to go up to the farm every single weekend and pull it and there'd be 10 pictures on them, 15 pictures on them. And I was, and I was always so excited to see what kind of deer we had running around on the farm. And I know 10 to 15 pictures isn't really a lot, especially now by what we're getting. But at that point in time, we only had about four to five deer maybe that were on our farm year round. A lot of our deer are just satellite deer that just kind of travel from property to property, especially during the rut. So we started off using those cameras and Wild Game Innovations cameras are great. Um, they're super affordable, super easy to get into. So if you're not using cameras right now and you want to get into them, but you're like, oh man, but you know, these Moultrie cameras, these stealth cams, so on and so forth, they're so expensive. Um, you guys can get into cameras for really cheap. Um, Wild Game Innovations cameras, you can get into some of those for 30, 40 bucks. And then like, even if you get towards the end of season, if you guys go to your local Bass Pro Shop, uh, Academy Sports, that's where we buy a lot of our cameras from, you guys can get them for really cheap. They're always on sale. And trail cameras just really allow you to figure out what kind of animals you have on your area, what animals survived through the entire deer season, and then you can start taking inventory and stock of what you have in the area at the end of season and preseason. So we have used Wild Game Innovations, Stealth Cam, Muddy, Moultrie. This year we're going to be running some Bushnell, and I'm sure there's a few that I'm leaving out in there. We currently run on our 60 acre parcel. We run about 10 to 15 cameras all the time. That's a lot of cameras for that small of a parcel, I know. Um, but we are working on expanding, so we've just kind of been getting cameras as we can, throwing them out there, making sure they take good pictures, making sure they're good to go. So whenever we expand onto new parcels, we know, hey, this camera doesn't work. We can't use it. Let's pull a different camera. Let's move a camera over here, so on and so forth. And last year was our first year where we actually got into cellular cameras and cellular cameras have changed the game for us, especially me out here in Virginia. Um, I'm only able to go into hunting areas whenever I sign in. I go into those areas. There can only be a certain number of people in those areas. So I don't get to check my cameras very often. And some cameras, I take them out there, I put them out there at the beginning of season and they sit there all season. I don't hunt the area. And if I had an SD card, I would never know what kind of deer are in there and cellular cameras have made it so I don't have to go in there. I don't have to leave my scent. And I'm able to leave these cameras, sit, and go into the app, check the cameras, check the cards, or not the cards, but check what pictures are being taken, and know without having to go get physical cards and then bring them back to the house. Really just a big hassle whenever you can avoid it to upgrade into the cellular cameras. And a lot of these companies have great deals on these cameras uh, for the pictures that you guys can get. Uh, I think our Moultrie one's about $60 a month. We run four cameras and we get unlimited photos, unlimited video, and we are able to just set up these cameras, leave them in a spot, and you don't have to worry about them. It'll tell you when the battery's low, anything like that. And I mean, these cameras that we ran last year, we never even had to change the batteries on them until season was over. So they work really well for being able to get inventory and not have to go out there, especially on those farms where maybe your farm is three, four hours away from you and you're getting close to season. You don't have to go out there to go pull that SD card to see what kind of bucks are running around. You already know because it's going straight to your phone, middle of the night, you're getting those messages. We all know like around the rut, none of us can sleep. We're always thinking, where am I gonna go in the morning? Where can I hunt? Where are the deer at? These cameras tell you immediately. You know, as soon as you wake up, you look at that camera, you go, okay, buck walked through there last night at four in the morning um doe walked through two hours before him so maybe there's a hot doe in there i'm gonna go sit this area or man this camera hasn't gotten any pictures in five days i'm not gonna go sit this area right now it looks like it's a little bit cold maybe all the bucks have moved out to different areas 
etc. Like I said, this last year we got into cellular cameras, and last year we started running these Moultrie mobiles. Super simple setup, little antenna. I think you can put eight or 16 batteries in it. We all put 16s in ours because it comes with them. And you put these cameras out there, super easy to set up, link to your account, and you kind of just forget about them. You, you know that they're there, um, but you don't have to worry about, oh man, I gotta go pull that SD card to see what kind of deer are out there or anything like that. You just know, oh man, come straight to my phone, I've got them, and I can wake up in the morning and look at my deer herd and see what my deer are doing. Um, and we started using it even more for um, predator control back in Missouri. We had a coyote problem in our area, and we started using these cameras to be able to find coyote. Um, because for years we had it, we kind of got rid of it, and now they're starting to come back. So now we're able to be like, okay, this, this coyote is coming through the area at this time every other day or every two days. So we need to be out there around that time and try to intercept. And that's worked really well for us in being able to make sure that we're also managing the predator population on top of our deer population because both are equally as important. So I highly recommend that if you guys don't already, look into getting some cellular cameras. If you don't want to get cellular cameras, you don't want to, you know, I don't want to have to pay for that subscription. You do another thing that we do, which is we don't use our cellular cameras year round. I mean, this thing is kind of expensive to run all the time. They're not overly expensive. They're not crazy. But like for me, for example, I can only run cameras certain times. I can't run them year round like what many people can. So I run back in Missouri, we run SD card cameras up until about two to three weeks before season. Then we put out the cellular cameras and we run our cellular cameras until about two to three weeks after season. And that allows us to know what's happening right before season, all the way through season, and then right after the season, we can start to take that inventory and see what deer made it, what deer didn't make it, and start to formulate that plan for next year. So if you guys don't wanna do that, SD card cameras are perfectly fine as well. They work just as good. Um, they're a little bit more inconvenient in my opinion. You know, I have to go out there and I have to pull those cards all the time. I don't live on the farm. You know, there's a lot of people that hunt out of state where, you know, I have to travel four, five, six hours to be able to get to my cameras. So a cellular camera may be a great option for you because you're going to save that in gas. There's a lot of different options out there and I highly encourage you guys if you don't already to take advantage and go look at these cameras. There are so many great options out there now for cameras and so many of them work so well and they are going to enhance the ability for you guys to be able to find those deer, lock them down and figure out where you need to be hunting, when you need to be hunting and what deer you need to be hunting. I want to thank you guys for watching another video here at Outdoor Grinds with us. We appreciate all your guys' feedback and your support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and go check us out on Instagram. We're also going to link these Moultrie mobile cameras in the description below because these are by far some of our favorite cameras to run right now. So we'll link those down in the description below so you guys can go check them out yourselves.